What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to your daily Doge update. Um, yeah, in this video we'll talk about everything you need to know about Doge. We'll, we'll zoom into the technicals, we'll really look uh, closely, we'll zoom into the one hour. Uh, right now we're on the four hour, but on the four hour time frame it, it looks like, like nothing is happening. But as a matter of fact, I do think some important things are happening. Um, but in general, we'll also just talk about Doge and what's happening right now. Because in general, there, there are also some developments, I guess we should call them, um, for Dogecoin, which are not that bullish. I don't think they matter that much, but um, it's, it's, it's worth it to talk about. So um, let's start with that. Um, market overall is um, not great. Bitcoin and Ethereum were a little bit bullish over the last 24 hours, but... Uh, not significantly, definitely not uh, significantly. But Doge, um, what we've seen there is that we've actually hit the lowest volume on a Friday, which it's it's not even weekend yet. This is probably going to decrease even more unless like Elon tweets about it. Uh, but the lowest volume since the, the, the beginning of this move, uh, you can see that um, we actually had 400 million like the 25th of October. So, so when all the rumors about the tw Twitter acquisition um still uh, like when they were there but th that was still a little bit unclear then we had that whole b bull run because of the twitter acquisition uh, went up a little bit higher because of elon tweeting something about doge i think that was here uh, and then obviously we crashed because of what happened with ftx and what happened with the entire crypto market um so right now it's it's actually i mean the main thing the, the main reason why that volume is dropping down that much is the reason why it was that high in the first place that was because of the Twitter acquisition. Now, then everybody was very hyped around Doge, but that hype cannot stay. That's that's why it's called hype, right? It stays at a certain moment. Then you have a lot of momentum, um, and 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 it is going to die down at some point if nothing is happening and nothing really is happening. I mean, obviously, uh, when this happened, uh, Elon spoke about holding Doge that it was probably a good move. So then we were bullish, but the market circumstances were still very bearish. Uh, and it was not a tweet or anything. It's just something he said in, in one of those Twitter spaces, uh, meetings or something. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's pretty bad because usually, um, and let's, let's zoom into the one hour time frame right now. Usually what you see is that if the hype and momentum dies down around a project, it's not necessarily bad. Like volume dropping is not necessarily bad. Um, but what you see is that you, you tend to also drop down. And the hype kind of di dying down together with the markets being well, well quite bearish. <laughs> I mean, let's say it like it is. Um, I expect Dogecoin to, to, to fall. Um, then when I say that, I also have to tell you that I think Dogecoin compared to other cryptos is very strong because of the community. So I think we are going to fall, but compared to other cryptos, we're still going to be very strong. All right. So, so I have to nuance it a, a little bit better. But what you can see right now, is that um, uh, while yesterday we were able to stay on top of 8.4 cents and, and even get a, get back above it, uh, now we found resistance here around 8.6, around that 100 EMA, and just in general, you can see some more bearish momentum slipping in. Um, we also didn't hold our, our bullish momentum, uh, which at some points we had. Like uh, when you draw a trend line like this, you can see that we, we, we did not hold it, we did not respect it. Um, well, if you draw a trend line like this, you can see that uh, that we do respect it at some points. Um, so just in general, more bearish momentum. So what I expect for Dogecoin is that we'll probably drop down below 8.4 cents. Find some support at 8.2, but I think uh, I think we're dropping down to this level here between 8 cents and 7.8 cents. Which, um, yeah, as I said earlier, it's it's not the end of the world, and because I do think this will hold, uh, even if we get more bearish fundamentals in the entire market, I do think it will hold. Um, but it's uh, yeah, I guess it's uh, <laughs> I guess it's, it's it's not nice for Doge holders, right? But that's just usually what you see. Um, and then at any point of time, if Elon tweets about it, the volume is still going to increase rapidly, uh, and we are still going to break above uh, 9.5 cents and get up to like 11 cents. That's still going to happen. But um, it, it looks like there's something holding him back from tweeting about it. Which I could understand as well. I mean, it's um, it's quite uh, yeah, it's co it's quite a weird thing to happen, right? And maybe the legality of it can be challenged. Um, but yeah, so that's my take on Dogecoin uh, this morning. Uh, I'll be back with more updates soon, obviously. But uh, so if you're interested in that, make sure to uh, consider subscribing at least. Uh, for now, though, thank you all for watching and listening, and uh, take care. Bye.